The debate on energy is almost entirely devoid of one detail, as important to the question of what we should choose as how environmental and economical it is. While energy has built the abundance we have today, it is highly centralized. As we depend on energy as the lifeblood of the industrial economy, this vests tremendous authority in those who have the role of coordinating it, whether private or public. Oil creates an inherently centralizing effect, and the centralized production and centralized distribution of oil has hijacked political and economic systems everywhere. While the options today are more decentralized, we must go much further. If we choose to use large-scale solar farms, wind farms, or clean coal or nuclear, we will still come under great control. Rather than being held down by bigger is better, we should thrive on the rule that small is beautiful, putting the power to produce power in our hands. Households can produce energy on their rooftops, heat and cool passively and with geothermal energy, and power industry and transportation with wind generators and biodiesel cooperatives. In such a system, both power and empowerment is distributed, and everyone and no one has control. It would be self-regulated by the market and people's conscience, and individuals, families, and communities would be empowered the most. Simultaneously, we can increase efficiency and decrease consumption tremendously without affecting the quality of life, in fact greatly enhancing it. In the end, even if centralized options will save us more, that is a small price to pay for freedom.